thing. All right. Yeah. Um, um, one of the questions we had is about advanced and potentially going on tours. There's a light change. So you're working your job. You may yeah. have insurance right now. You may not. But now you're going to have that job. Okay, so what are some of the scenarios for that? Well, that's a really good question. If you keep, if you manage to keep your health insurance in force, I mean, there are a lot of employers out there who are very musician friendly. Um, I'm not endorsing these companies, but I've, I've found by talking to people that Whole Foods and Starbucks and the, the you know, the fairly well-known progressive employers out there who offer health insurance to their employees will allow you to remain on their health insurance as you take extended leaves and things along those lines. Now, if you're if you're going away for a long, long time and you already have health insurance in force, most states will, all states actually, will allow you to continue your health insurance through something called COBRA, or if the business has under 20 employees, uh, state continuation. What that means is, as an employee, you've been subsidized by the by the company. You know, if, if the the cost of the plan for you is ten dollars a month, just some symbolic amount, they're probably paying two hundred fifty bucks for you or something along those lines. You're free to switch over to a state continuation or Cobra setup and pay that for up to eighteen months to continue your coverage. Now, usually. That's not a pittance for people, you know, 250 dollars I mean, we all know that all you people in bands are raking in the dough. I know that playing in three bands last year, I probably made a total of about two thousand dollars, <laughs> and I didn't spend it all on one place. Um, yeah, so and I, and I, I probably spent five thousand. <laughs> so <laughs> my net was negative three grand, uh, a thousand per band. Uh, the um, so that may not be an option for people to so continue what they've got if their employee isn't willing to give them an extended leave. Some states, all but seven, will offer something called short-term health insurance. Now this is a really really important thing for people to know about. Short-term health insurance. Is something that you can sign up for, and it usually kicks in the same day you write it. So if we were to sit down and you know figure out that a short-term health insurance plan was the best thing for you to get, um, we fill out the paperwork, or you fill out the paperwork rather, and you would uh, submit it. And at midnight tonight, at 12:01 a.m. tomorrow morning, you would have health insurance. Now the upside of it is it's immediate. It's HIPAA portable, and what that means is if you have over a 62-day lapse between plans, any pre-existing conditions you have become exclusions on your next plan for 12 to 18 months. You can use a short-term plan to fill that gap. So let's say you're quitting your job and go on the road for six months, and then you're going to pick your job back up. Well, that's over 62 days, and you don't want to have that kind of a lapse. So, not only does the short-term plan keep your portability intact, it also sends you to the hospital if an anvil falls on your head or you fall down a flight of stairs, you know? So you're, you're, you're in good shape there, and most people, I would say, who are the age of the working musician, I'm gonna be 42 next week, so I, I guess I don't know what the top end of the working musician is. Um, let's, what's that? Well, I'd, I'd like to be one of them one day. <laughs> uh, so I have no plans on quitting, and I know that, but let's just say that, you know, anybody who's still doing it at 65, I mean, the government takes the number. We have national health, you just don't get it until you're 65 years old. <laughs> so stick around, it's going to get good, right? Uh, so, uh, anyway, the, uh, the, the thing is, if you get the short-term health plan, I, I would say that the average cost on something like that would be between maybe forty and sixty dollars a month. So that's good news, right? That's not terribly expensive. It fills the gap in regards to portability. Hooray! It protects you if you get hurt. Fantastic. And um, 
you you can put it together immediately in case your shift comes in and it's time to go on tour tomorrow. Um, the downside of it is you buy it in chunks. And the reason it's cheap is because it's more like an auto insurance plan in the fact that if you have a, a bad year, they don't necessarily have to renew it. So if you're the last thing that were dropped, yeah. the word was um, that the, the DWI. You know, I, yeah, yeah, that pissed off the system, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, if you manage to you know, drive like a maniac and keep your, you know, if, if, you know, all year long, you're not going to be able to keep your auto insurance. And likewise, if you, if you put a pretty heavy burden on your short-term health insurance plan, that there, you know, you're, you're not going to get renewed. And I, I know that sounds cruel, but it's also, you know, it's part of the deal. That's why it's cheap. It's really there for kind of emergency-only stuff. The good news is you, there are ways to get out of that that are going to prevent you from being, you know, kind of left high and dry, I guess would be the best way to put it. So that's what I recommend for most musicians. I, off the top of my head, I can't remember the seven states that don't allow it, but I, ironically, uh, they're the most progressive states. Okay, it isn't adequate health care in the eyes of, of um, you know, those pinko states like Massachusetts and Vermont, uh, because they, they feel that, that anything that would allow somebody to become uninsured at the end of one year, if the worst happened, you know, if it all hit the fan, um, is not adequate and it doesn't serve the consumer. I disagree with that, even though I, I you know, I'm pretty much in sync with how those states work otherwise. Um, but the hyper regulation of the insurance industry in those states is, is so hyper regulated that it's not an environment where a short term health plan can exist. I think there, it's New York, New Jersey, Vermont, Massachusetts, um, and I can't remember the rest of them. Wisconsin, I think you guys have it. So that's the type of thing that would be available to you. And uh, that might be one thing that I, that, that's the thing that I would recommend if your employer isn't cool enough to figure out a way to keep you on their books while you get the road. Now, one other concern, of course, is what happens if you get hurt on the road? Well. That's going to be sort of up to the details of, of your health insurance plan. Almost everyone that I'm aware of will give you some sort of coverage while you're out of, out of network. Sometimes it's limited, sometimes it's a little bit more expensive, but I'll tell you the same thing I tell everybody else, and that is, if you roll the van and you end up in traction in a hospital in Denver, and you're not able to get shipped home until your bone is set, you know, a month later. And that whole endeavor is a, you know, $500,000 loss. And you have to pay 7000 of it because you're out of network instead of 5000 I don't think you're going to care. <laughs> you know, you're just going to be happy that you have something in place. And so, uh, I would recommend highly that musicians get their wellness stuff taken care of before they leave their home market. 